Hello friends, once again I welcome you to my channel. In my last video we have seen the logical instructions. Basically we are discussing interrupt enable and enable disable, disable interrupt instructions. Then next I am coming to data manipulation instructions. Next category shift and rotate instruction. In this video we will be seeing uh, the shift instructions. So in case of shift instructions we will see four shift operations. One is logical shift right, another is left, then arithmetic shift right, arithmetic shift left. So these four operations we'll see, right? First we'll see their syntax, how they operate, and what is their utility. All these things we'll see, then we'll see some examples. So logical shift left. This operation is applicable for unsigned numbers, right? And see what it does, it shifts the number to the left. So if I'm shifting to the left, whether I'm going to increase the value or decrease, obviously I'm going to increase the value because my power is going to, that my exponent value will increase, right? So I'm going to increase the value, right? So how many positions I'm going to shift, that will be part of the instruction as well as uh, whom you are going to shift, that will be another operand, right? So the contents of the operand are shifted left by the number of bits specified in the source operand of the instruction. So it requires two operands. One is the operand that you want to shift and the number of bits if it is more than one. The vacated bits are filled with zeros because see whenever we'll be shifting, I'll be shifting this value to here, here this value to here. So this position get vacated. So this will be filled up by zero. This is one. And some bit value will be going out. So where it will go? It will go to the carry flag, right? And eventually it will be dropped. So left, see, the shifted bits are passed through the carry flag and then dropped. This is how it is done. Then what is the use of it? We can apply our left shift operation whenever we want to multiply one particular operand by something in powers of two. That is two to the power some value is given to the power some exponent is there with that I want to multiply a given number then instead of going for MUL instruction because MUL instruction will be doing some kind of addition operation right some shifting then some addition operation it will be doing so so many adders will be required and all but if I can do the same thing if my multiplier is a power of 2 that is multiple of 2 then we can go for um, it is a powers of 2, then we, what we can do is, we can use not multiple powers of 2. Then we can go for this SHL instruction. Because in one go, we can do the multiplication. So it will be fast, faster. So we used to say this is, multiplication is a costlier operation compared to your shift operation. But both of us will give me the same impact. Only when my multiplier is, is in the powers of 2, right? So this is there. The next one is, one example we'll see. So let's say this is R1's content, right? One register content is given. What is this value it's representing? Four zeros are there. That means what? It is two to the power four. That is what? 16. Now what I will do? I'll perform left shift. I'll, let's say I'll shift it by two positions. So this one will come to left shift. Na? So this one will come to this position. Yes? So... I'll do the left shifting has to comma R1 and my one is coming here. So now what is, uh, what is the value represented here? It is 2 to the power 6 now. 2 to the power 6 is nothing but 64. What is 64? Uh, it is nothing but 16 into 2 to the power 2. 2 to the power 2 means 4. If you multiply 16 by 4, your answer is 64. So if I want to multiply something by 2 to the power 2, Instead of doing that, I will do simply a left shift operation by two bit positions. Both of them will give me the same impact. This is understood. Then next I'll move to logical shift right. Logical shift right, this operation is also applicable for unsigned numbers. Right? This time I'll be shifting to the right. So I'll be decreasing the value. Here decreasing means I'll be dividing it by 2 to the power number of bit positions I have shifted the number or the operand. So provide a means for shifting blocks of bits within a register or memory to the right, right? Then 
the, this is how means how the operation will be performed it will be shifting the source operand to the right right how many bit positions whatever is specified in the source instruction bracketed bits will be uh, bits will be filled with zeros and the the bits that are going out will go to the carry flag and then they will be dropped this is the operation and impact of this operation is similar to dividing the operand by 2 to the power bit positions you have shifted so whatever number of bit positions you are shifting if you raise it to the powers of 2 by that quantity actually you are dividing the operand that is the impact of performing a write shift on an operand so this is my r1 again i have taken the same example what it is representing 16 then i will do right shift so where my two, one will come at this position so this one is this one what is uh, what this value is represented by this r1 contain it is nothing but 4 so see 16 divided by 2 to the power 2 will be what 4 so we are getting that result here i have taken no doubt very simple example next we will see some numericals based on this concept first we are understanding it next is arithmetic left shift instruction so arithmetic left shift is applicable it is also a shift operation but for sign numbers so here it it will do the shifting and see the way of performing the operation will be exactly similar to your logical shift left that means vacated bit positions will be filled up by zero and going out bit will go to carry flag and then eventually it will be dropped and the impact of doing the operation is also same that means what we are multiplying it by 2 to the power bit positions we have shifted this is exactly same then why two instructions are there there must be some difference that difference is say uh, we'll see here it is applicable for sign number and after this operation is performed overflow flag may be impacted overflow flag will be uh, may be impacted due to the instruction executed how it is going to be impacted means so how it is going to get the value or one or zero we'll see that see this is my r1 content right then i am shifting it to the right to the uh, sorry i am shifting it to the left by two bit positions so i am getting this as an answer so see whether overflow is happening or not that that we can conclude by looking at the sign of your source operand and the sign of your result my sign of my result is what zero and what is a sign of my uh, input that is also zero so if both the bits are same that means sign of my uh, input as well as the sign of my output both are same that means there is no overflow but if at all there is a reversal of sign then there is a overflow so arithmetic left shift will may impact your overflow flag and how it is impacting that we have seen so it affects the overflow flag overflow flag will be one only when if the sign changes that means what it is not same as that of its input else it will be zero done then next i am coming to another important instruction arithmetic right shift instruction arithmetic right shift instruction is applicable for sign numbers this instruction is very very important when we will do our alu chapter that time we will be using this instruction because that time we will be doing some operations where this instruction is required so we need to remember what it does and how it does right so see it is also kind of shifting and see this time see in our diagram one thing is missing this side the zeros are not there because otherwise i used to write like this but this time it is not there where is the difference here it is applicable for sign number so whenever i do my arithmetic right shift i will preserve the sign of my input i will preserve the sign of my input so what it does it will perform no doubt it will perform the right shift operation it will go to the right but whatever bit position was here that will be also again written down here it will go to this position also but this position will also retain the previous value right so this is how it is performed and going out bit will go to the carry flag so see the contents of the operand are shifted right by the number of bits specified in the source operand 
this is similar what is here see what is new the vacated bits are filled by the previous sign bit so whatever original sign bit was given to you that will be used to fill up the vacated position the shifted bits are passed through the carry flag and then they will be dropped and this operation is equivalent to dividing the operand by 2 to the power bit positions we have shifted done then next is we'll see one example right so see this is one example right this one number is there some binary bit combination is there we'll see what is the magnitude and all we'll see but first we'll do the operation so this is my r1's content right i will be shifting it to the uh, right by using arithmetic shift instruction so what will be my value after shifting after shifting the zero will go here one will go here zero will come this zero will come here one will come here zero will here this zero this one will be here again this one will be written here that you need to understand so your result will be see this one is again here as well as here also here this one this is how i am doing it right i am doing it like this and this zero is going there hope you can understand if it is becoming jumble up i'll show you this is coming here as well as here this this like this diagonal you see you will understand oh this is here this is here this is here and this is here right this is how we have performed the this one is coming here my diagram is coming like this so this is how we'll do the shift operation so this we have understood so see what we have promised that by doing this what we are doing we are dividing the number by 2 to the power 1 so see we'll find out whether it is happening or not so see what is this uh, r1 content is representing whether it is a positive quantity or a negative quantity r1 content is obviously a negative quantity because this sign is 1 so it is a negative quantity what is this value how to find out already i have told uh, in my previous videos that it is in twos complement form my numbers are in twos complement form so what i will do i will take the twos complement of my all all the binary bit combinations and then i will tell you the decimal of that as the magnitude of that number so i'll take the twos complement of it so it is 0 1 the, i'll be copying it then all these bits will be reversed then this is 0, this is 1, this is 1, this is 0. Now, what is the decimal of this? This is 2, this is 4. 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 8 is 14. So, this part I got 14. And this part is what? This uh, for, uh, this, uh, this was uh, 2, 4, 8. 16 is not there, 32 and 64. So, 32 plus 64 is what? 4 plus 2 is? 6 and this is 96 96 plus 14 will be what 96 plus 14 will be 110 so this part this r1 content is representing minus 110 this is my original input what is my output output you can see this part right it is a positive quantity or negative quantity obviously it is also a negative quantity how to get the value we'll take the two's complement of it so this one will be directly copied I already told you how to take the two's complement of a number. You start reading from the left till you get the first one. So in the beginning only I got this one. Then I flip all the bits. This is 0, this is 1, 1, 0, 0. So this part is giving me what? 7. 1 plus 2 plus 4 is 7. So 4 gone. Then it is 8, it is 16 and it is 32. 32 plus 16. 32 plus 16 is what this is 8 and 48 48 plus 7 is what 55 so it is minus 55 so see 110 if you divide by 2 2 to the power 1 2 means 2 to the power 1 1 bit to the right you have shifted so it is giving you 55 so we are getting our results whatever we have said hope this part is understood then next i will do some numericals but in this video, I will stop here. Hope, hope this part is clear that shift operation, logical and your arithmetic shift operations. So if you are getting from my videos, then please like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.